Hey everyone, happy to have you here with me once again. Welcome back. Today, as you can see in the title, we're having the first update for my Pando Sari Shadows. And let me tell you, I'm mad. I'm really, really mad. As you can see, today I'm not wearing any makeup, just a little bit of gloss. And the reason for that is because most likely I have Corona. My boyfriend has all the symptoms right now and I've been with him for a couple of weeks now, so probably I have it too. And I don't want to be wearing my makeup because I don't know if that really happens, but I don't want to infect my makeup. So just in case I'm not wearing any makeup today, I'm just using an illuminating cream uh, and a lip gloss, but I didn't apply the lip gloss directly into my lips. I apply it in my clean hand and then use my finger to apply it. So yeah, I won't be wearing makeup at least for the next 10 days and I was really close to hit one pan in this project and I wasn't able to and now I'll need to wait until next month to be able to roll it out and I'm a little bit mad about it but this intro is already two minutes long so let's start with the project this project was created by Alexi as always I'm going to be leaving her channel down in the description box right now I'm working in six days one of them is for my focus palette one of them is for my top 10 oldest palettes and singles and from now on my super chuck shadows too and the other four I randomized from my whole collection so yeah I wasn't able to hit any pants this month as i said but i'm super close i don't know maybe three more uses in one of them as always i'm going to start talking about the one that i have used the least to move to the product that i have used the most but with that out of the way let's start talking about the products that i've been working on through the last month i don't want to be opening any of my palettes right now I took videos of the palettes while I was wearing a mask so today I'm only going to be showing you like the cover of the palette but yeah let's start talking about the first shade that I have in this project and that sadly I only use once I know it's it's really bad I'm trying to use my eyeshadows 25 times or until I hit pan on them I think this one is going to take around 15 uses or something like that but in the last month I only used it once it's a pretty difficult shade for me to wear because it's a shimmer, uh, a light blue shimmer and it's not really my kind of colors I only made one look with this palette or with this shade and it's the only shade that I've been using from this palette so far and let me tell you that the look that i made with this uh, eyeshadow i really really like i mixed the light blue with some browns and i feel like it looked really pretty i have so i have some other ideas to be able to use this shade with another one that is in this project that is a green but i haven't been able to wear makeup in the last couple of days so i haven't done that yet so yeah so far only one use i still made 24 uses or pan and i really think oh this is going to be in this project for most of the year because it's a really difficult shade for me to wear okay but let's move on with the next eyeshadow and let's talk about my zodiac palette i'm working in the shade leo it's one of the baked eyeshadows so it's going to take me a while to be able to hit pan on it to be honest i don't think i'm going to be able to do that it only 25 uses so i'm pretty sure this shade it's going to be rolled out as soon as i meet the 25 uses goal but to be honest i have never wear any of these shadows 25 times so maybe just maybe mm, i don't think so but who knows i feel like you can see some usage on the eyeshadow only after three uses so who knows how much progress we're going to have after 25 uses maybe if i feel like i'm really close to hit pan on it we'll continue to use it to be able to hit pan on it but to be honest, I don't know, I'm not sure, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm kind of scared of baked eyeshadows. Uh, but yeah, this shade, as I said, I have only used three times. 
and I'm kind of disappointed with myself because I feel like it's a pretty easy shade like to use because it's a light pink you can wear it basically every day maybe in your inner corner it's a pretty nice like all over the lid shade but I have said a million times that the shimmers in these palettes are one of my favorites in my collection but lately at least this shade I feel like it's a little bit flat I don't know why I'm not feeling inspired to use it but the last time that I used it I top it with a super chalk shadow that I have in another project I think it's called Dream Lover or something like that and that way the eyeshadow looks stunning so I think that's what I'm going to be doing to be able to use this shade because that way I fell in love with it I feel like those two are a really good combo but yeah, only 3 uses, I still need 22 more uses and I think it's going to take a while but hopefully I'll be able to use it at least 5 times in the next month, hopefully the next shade that I want to talk about, I also use it only 3 times and that is my ultraviolet shade from my Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty this is a stunning palette but it's also one of my newer palettes and I mentioned last month that I wasn't sure if I wanted to hit pan on it or not and I was going to decide through January and let you know in the first update and let me tell you that I decided that at least that shade I don't want to hit pan on it so I decided that for my newer palettes I'm going to be doing a new rule and that is if I don't want to hit pan in one of my newer palettes I'm going to set the goal to use it only 10 times but that specific eyeshadow so so far I have only used it three times so I still need seven more uses to be able to roll out this shade and I think like my new rule is yeah you have the chance to only use it 10 times and roll it out but I'll have like the chance the opportunity for the first month to use it and decide if I want to only use it 10 times or use it the 25 times and hit pan on it in this case in the case of the ultraviolet shade that is kind of a baked eyeshadow has a different formula i'm going to be inserting the picture of a girl in instagram that i cannot remember her name right now but i leave her handle over here she completely finished that shade and you can see that it ultraviolet has a waffle pan it's a different kind of pan and usually that kind of pans are in baked eyeshadows and baked eyeshadows are way harder for you to use up to hit pan or at least for me and also something that is happening with these eyeshadows specifically 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 with this eyeshadow is that i feel like at some point sooner or later I'm going to be and with hard pan I don't know why when you look at the close-up of the shade you will be able to see what I see but I don't know I'm afraid that this shade is going to be end up with hard pan to avoid that I'm only using that shade with a brush not using my fingers but yeah, I'm afraid that's going to happen with this shade uh, so yeah only seven more uses to be able to roll out this shade and i'm pretty sure we're going to be able to meet that goal by next update the next shade that i'm going to be talking about i use five times and even if it's not a high number really i would like to use all of my eyeshadows in this project at least five times every month and i was surprised that i was able to use this shade specifically five times because when i rolled it in to be honest i was really scared because it's a green and i'm not really good using greens and that is my shade act natural for my just my look palette and when i when i rolled it in i was like shit what the hell i'm going to be doing with this eyeshadow because i don't enjoy green eyeshadows this is a pretty dark green on my collection so what i was supposed to do well the thing that i found that really helps me to use this eyeshadow and actually is a way to use it that I really really enjoy is to use it as a liner I use one of the like eyebrow brushes to pick the product and apply it as a wink eyeliner the days that I go to the office 
and that my makeup is more soft and subtle and it looks so freaking pretty like i really enjoy doing that that way i use this eyeshadow five times i will say this is a pretty hard pressed eyeshadow and really pigmented too so i was afraid that i wasn't be i wasn't going to be able to see any progress after the five uses but i guess since i was using a thinner brush i'm able to see somewhere on the eyeshadow I don't think we're going to be able to hit pan on it on our 25 uses but maybe if I keep using this shade that way we're going to be pretty close to a pan so if I feel after the 25 uses that we're close to pan we're going to keep using it uh, to be able to hit pan on it I'm really excited about this eyeshadow palette because as I said I really wasn't expecting to love this shade as much as I love it right now and I guess that is what I like about this project there are some shades that only by looking at them I don't feel inspired I feel like I wouldn't be able to enjoy them but now that I'm forced to use this eyeshadow I was able to find a way to use it that I really love so yeah that's what I love about this project also, I use, I think, once or twice the mint color in this palette, and I feel like you can see somewhere on that shade. So yeah, I'm also trying to use the rest of the palettes that are in this project, because even if the goal for this project is to hit pan on a specific eyeshadow, I will love, I will love to have more usage on the whole thing. But let's move on with the last two eyeshadows. Let's talk about uh, my focus palette and that is my the sweetest palette by beauty creations this is a palette that my sister gave me back in christmas of 2018 i think and until the end of 2021 i almost didn't use it and to be honest i thought that i didn't like it but since it's one of my older and most rejected palette in my whole collection i decided to make it my focus palette i'm working in tootsie roll that is a shimmer it's kind of like something between a satin and a shimmer because the glow is really subtle but again for days that i need to go to the office i found that i really enjoy using that shade i have only used it six times in the last month and i think it's going to be hard to be able to hit pan on it at least it's going to take me the 25 uses because after the six uses looks basically the same let me know if you see any difference i haven't like compared the photos of last month with the ones from this month yet but I don't know, when I look at it, I feel like it's basically the same. For me, it's way harder to hit pan on a shimmer than in a matte. But also in this palette, I've been using other two shades on it. First, a dark brown that I feel like after like three uses or so, it's having good progress. So I hope that pretty soon I roll in that shade into this project because it's going to be really easy for me to hit pan on it and also the other day I used the cream shade in this palette and the same it looked way more used after one or two uses so I think some of the shades are easier to use to hit pan on than others in this palette but Tootsie Roll the one that I'm using right now it's going to take me a while Okay, and the last shade comes from my set Fancest Fantastic palette from Rue Cosmetics and it's the shade No. You will be seeing the close-up but it's a pretty light transition shade basically. I like to mix it with other things because it's pretty light on my complexion and I have used that shade 15 times in the last month and I'm still not able to hit pan on it. Yeah. It's going to take me, no, it's not going to take me a while. We're so freaking close to hit pan on it, but we're not there yet. You will be seeing the huge dip that we have in this palette, but this is a pretty powdery shade, so I feel like the progress has been really quick. When I rolled it in, it was basically brand new. The photo that you're seeing from the beginning of January was taken after one or two uses because I forgot to take the picture before. <laughs> Oopsie. 
uh, but yeah, we're so close. I cannot wait to be able to roll out this palette. But I'm also trying to play around a little bit with this palette out of this shade. So for example, I have used some of these uh, shimmers that you can see over here that are quite neutral too. And also I've been using these two shades to darken out the outer corner now and then. I think I preferred the darker shade in this palette than this one. I feel like the darker shades in this palette are not as dark in your lids as they might seem in the pan. But yeah, I've been really enjoying using this palette. It's a huge palette. It has 30 eyeshadows and I feel like I haven't played around enough with this palette. I still need to use it way more. But I'm so excited about the idea to be able to roll out this palette by next update. In that way, we're going to have the first eyeshadow pan of the year. I'm hoping to be able to hit at least 22 pans in this year, but it's going to be hard. Lately, I'm not that good hitting pans in my collection. But yeah, that's everything for today. Those are all the eyeshadows that I've been working in this project through the last month. I'm really sad we don't have any rollouts or roll-ins in this update, but I can promise you that by next update, we're going to be having at least two, and I'm really excited about that. For a couple of videos, you won't be seeing me wearing makeup for the reason that I mentioned before. I hope you don't mind. It's kind of weird for me to film the whole video without makeup. But yeah, it is what it is. Let me know if you have any ideas how to wear these eyeshadows, especially the ones that has been a little bit more difficult for me to wear. But yeah, that's everything for today. If you like this video, please consider subscribe. <laughs> please consider subscribing. I would love that. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.